we shouldn't let leg wounds get to 14 days before assessment and intervention. And we know from working in primary care that 14 days isn't always sustainable in reality. But what we can do by using mild compression and intermediate care is to create stability and slow down deterioration of the wound. Because of the barriers to completing ABPIs in many generally settings, the use of low dose compression can kickstart the healing process for the lower limb wounds and reduce the risk of a wound developing. There's a, there is a, it's likely to be enough compression for some, some parts of the population, particularly in the presence of the risk factors outlined previously, but for not, not for everybody and not everyone's going to respond. And for those patients, they will require a different approach. Lower limb wounds should show signs of healing within the first 14 days. And if there are no signs of healing or deterioration is noted in this time, referral for full holistic assessment, including an ABPI, should be completed. Full assessment, including ABPI, is the route to patients accessing um, holistic assessment and going on if they need to for, for stronger um, high dose compression. So how will we safely employ early intervention with mild compression without an ABPI? That's what we've got to consider. We want to be safe. So what we need to do is check for red flags. And this is taken directly from the National Wound Care Strategy recommendations for leg ulcers. Um, those without the red flags listed on this slide and at low risk of pressure damage over brony prominences should be offered first line mild graduated compression. Those with red flag symptoms should not be offered compression as part of immediate and necessary care. However, following assessment and appropriate management by the relevant clinical specialist, compression therapy may be considered on a case-by-case -case basis. The recommendation for wounds that are non-healing um, is to be treated with mild compression is based on the clinical expert consensus that providing people with red flag symptoms or conditions are excluded, the benefits of first-line mild compression outweigh the risks even for people without obvious signs of venous insufficiency. What we need to check though, is that there's no signs of critical ischemia. So we need to make sure that the blood is circulating easily through the arteries as this is what provides oxygen to the tissues. Checking the capillary refill time in the toes is a good indicator of a patient's peripheral perfusion. A capillary refill check should be completed distally on the tips of the toes by pressing firmly for five seconds and timing how long it takes the toes to regain its original colour. We expect, we expect this to be under three seconds in a well perfused limb. We're also going to be looking at the, the temperature of the skin or checking the temperature of the skin, the colour of the skin, and for any pressure areas over bony prominences. And if you have any concerns that you'd be referring on using your local pathways. And this image that I've popped from the slide there is of a limb with critical ischemia and you know, obviously you would not apply immediate and necessary care to a, to a leg that looked like that or a foot that like that. The other thing that we need to consider is that the patient's got intact sensation. And basically, you know, that's not just our diabetic patients and we're used to checking um, um, the sensation in diabetic patients, but it can also happen uh, for lots of other reasons, such as trauma and vascular disorders and inflammatory conditions. So it's not about the presence of the diabetes, but the presence of the neur neuropathy that we're checking here. And we want to make sure that a patient's sensation is intact before using compression, as those with severe neuropathy may not notice if the stocking digs in or rubs causing damage. And again, if you have any concerns, you'd escalate that with your local pathways. Finally, we want to check that the patient has an appropriate limb shape to wear a mild compression stocking. The material of the stocking is thin and elastic with low stiffness, and the stockings are not designed to support large amounts of swelling. And if used on these patients, they are likely to dig in and create further problems as shown in the images on this slide. We are checking for a normal limb profile, whereby the ankle circumference is smaller than the calf circumference. And if there is deep pitting edema or any skin folds, this purse would not be suitable and should be referred on for further assessment. <laughs> 